Welcome to our daily Forex market analysis, and this is for trading on January the 5th, 2021. Just a quick disclaimer here before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business, so please be careful with your money. As usual, we'll start off by taking a look at our calendar here. Um, all right, so overall, let's take a look at what's going on in the market. Uh, first of all, we did see the markets drop today and several reasons around that. First of all, the number of virus cases have been going up. Uh, UK is back in a lockdown, again, even a stricter lockdown because of the new variant of the or mutation of the virus that they have found, which is proving to be um, a little bit more, um, it's more scary than the current one that we have or um, it causes more problems. So that's one. And then secondly, the vaccination uh, that the U.S. was supposed to roll out hasn't really gone as um, everyone has expected or had expected. There are some hiccups in that, which uh, markets are not liking. Then we have Georgia elections uh, coming up uh, for the Senate um, on Tuesday, on tomorrow, um, or tomorrow, I should say. And um, all of that is basically weighing on the markets. And today we did see that the stock market drop as, uh, dropped as a result of that. And I think things were also a little stretched um, with the holidays, um, not a lot of traders were there, but the market just kept on um, kept on stretching. So um, all in all, a bit of a dip in the market. Uh, so now we will have to see how things play out with the elections tomorrow. Um, and um, if the market sees this as a bit of a pullback, and then is it going to continue or not? So let's take a, we'll take a look at that. But prior to that, let's take a look at, uh, first of all, what's coming up in terms of news. We do have OPEC meetings um, tomorrow. And uh, right now, as of right now, there is, uh, they haven't been able to reach an agreement and that is negative for oil. They are, uh, that they are at an impasse and that is negative. Um, and then other than that, not much in terms of major news here. We do have manufacturing PMI numbers here uh, for the US. These are important and we have a Fed member speaking. But other than that, no uh, real critical meetings or no data um, other than the OPEC meetings here. All right, so let's go on to our charts here. We will start off by taking a look at our uh, at Euro here, first of all. So um, Euro, as we can see here from our daily chart, price is still trading in a range. It's been trading in this range for, a few weeks now. At this point today, we see a pin bar here. There's still some bullishness in this. So we may get a retest of 1.2300. If it holds below though, then we're likely to see a move back towards the bottom of the range. So right now it's in the middle of the range. Uh, bias for this one is neutral to bearish. Um, we are likely to see a bit of a pull back up before we see a drop and even a retest of this level. So I would, I would take a, I would keep that in mind, but bias here is neutral to bearish. Target would be 1.2130. So first we'll target the midpoint here. And then, um, so 1.2200, then 1.2130. Pound dollar here, this one as well, we see a reversal here. Price did try to go through, couldn't really hold. So we have a bearish engulfing candle close here. Um, this one is negatively impacted because of the new lockdown uh, that has been announced in UK today. So this is bearish here. Uh, we may get a pullback into 1.3600 and then looking for a drop. Target here is 1.3480. So bearish bias for pound dollar. Um, if it continues, then 1.3420. So bearish bias here. Aussie dollar here, this one as well. So basically the risk sentiment um, in the market today, it was risk, um, risk averse. This is why we're seeing the stock market go down. So when the risk aversion comes into the market, uh, then the risk currencies drop and the risk assets drop. So basically uh, we see Euro, Pound, uh, Aussie, New Zealand, these ones will drop. US dollar becomes stronger and yen becomes stronger. So safe haven currencies and safe haven assets become stronger when the risk aversion is sentiment is in the market. So with this one as well, Aussie dollar looking bearish, I will look for a move back down towards the support level here. 
uh, 0.7620 um, or 7. Point, uh, actually, let's say 0 0.7600. And then below that, we have 0 0.7550. So bearish bias for Aussie dollar as well. New Zealand dollar, this one as well, we see that price wasn't really go, able to go through the resistance. Uh, we have a bearish candle close, so I will look for a bit more of a drop here. Our target is 0 0.7120, and then below that we have 0 0.7080, so bearish bias for New Zealand dollar. Dollar CAD here, we saw price go back up here. Two reasons. One, with the OPEC um, not really coming to an agreement that is negative for oil and um, Canadian dollar. And secondly, the US dollar was stronger as a result. We see a bullish candle close here. So we could see this one go higher all the way into 1.2830. Uh, so bullish bias here for dollar CAD. And should it go through that level, next target is 1.2880. So bullish bias for dollar CAD. All right, let's take a look at our commodities now. Looking at silver here, we are back into this resistance level here. Uh, we do have a nice bullish candle close. The concern would be the major resistance level. So we haven't seen price uh, back at this level in quite some time. And so here we are. Um, if it doesn't go through 27.35 here, um, we are likely to see a drop. So right now, um, I would say neutral to bullish for this one. If it gets through, then we would be looking for um, next leg higher. But right now, this is into important support resistance level. So if it fails to go through, um, if it fails to hold above this level here, then we are looking for a drop. So for now, bullish, neutral to bullish bias here. Next target, 27.70 and then 28.25. But we have to make sure it goes through. Otherwise, um, it's not bullish then. Gold here, gold as well. Nice big move to the upside here. Next target here is 1965, looking for um, this move to finish getting filled here. So bullish bias for gold. Um, oil here, big drop in oil because of the uh, the hung talks between in OPEC here. So they haven't really been able to reach any sort of an agreement amongst themselves, and that is bearish for oil. Now it is into support, so just be mindful of that. But bias is bearish. Next target, basically, I'm looking for price to come towards the, towards the bottom of the range here. It's been trading in this range. 46 is the next target. Copper here, copper is still range bound here. We see price did go up, but it has pulled back. So neutral to bullish for the time being here. Target is 3.59. Bitcoin here, a lot of back and forth in Bitcoin here. Um, things have been a little bit um, crazy in the markets as the markets open up into the new year here. So with this one here, this one's looking neutral right now. We did see a price shoot up and then dropped and now we are back again. So at this point, um, as we can see a lot of volatility in the, um, in the price here. So what I'm looking for is uh, this 32,800 level, if it holds below this level, then we're likely to see a drop towards 31,000 here. But once it goes through, then we'll be targeting the high here. So expect volatility. Once, um, so the level 32,800 would be an important level. Um, if it goes through, then we're looking at 33,800 will be the target. But at this point, neutral bias for Bitcoin. S&P 500, a big drop here. Um, now with this one, even though we do have a big drop, it's not necessarily, it hasn't turned bearish yet. So with this one, I will look for a bit of a pullback, potentially even into 37.35. And if it holds below, then we are looking for a drop back into 36.50. So bias is a bearish um, for S&P 500. NASDAQ as well, a big drop here as more risk aversion comes into the market. Um, with this one here, bias is also bearish here. Um, we're likely to see a pullback into 12,800 potentially. And then if it holds, we're looking for a drop towards 12,500. So bearish bias here for NASDAQ. Dow Jones as well, nice drop here. 
uh, we are we could see a pullback towards 3050 30,500 sorry and if it holds here again looking for next move lower here back towards 29,800 so bearish bias for Dow Jones as well DAX here all over the place but it has held below this resistance level so looking for a drop towards 13,400 here so bearish bias for DAX as well uh, FTSE here moved in both directions, um, and right now, as we can see, price wasn't able to go through the resistance, so I'd be looking for a pullback, potentially into this previous resistance, and then if it holds, looking for a move back down here, so neutral bias right now for FTSE. And last but not least here, Nikkei here. Nikkei is, um, is looking bearish. We did see a nice drop here. Um, I'd look for a pullback into 27,300, which is not that far here. And if it holds, looking for a drop back into um, support at 26,900. So bearish bias for um, Nikkei as well. Uh, but just be careful that we may see this back and forth um, I think there, there is more nervousness in the market right now, but not enough to really make it drop. So there is still that um, inherent bullishness that we have seen over the last little bit. Um, so that's something we have to be careful for. So basically what I'm saying is expect volatility. All right, so that's it for today. You guys have a wonderful trading day tomorrow and I'll be back um, once again tomorrow with the daily market analysis. Bye for now.